hello guys welcome back to the channel so till now we have saw how to install zeek installation of elk stack and how to enable expect security so today what we'll be doing is uh, let's put the zeek logs to kibana using file bits so first let's check the status of uh, elastic search and kibana search and kibana so we can see both elastic search and kibana are running so what i will be doing is i have zeek installed in my mac os so in the directory user local zeek bin so this is the directory where zeek is been installed so i will put logs from my mac os to uh, elastic search in the ubuntu machine so i'll be installing file beats in mac os before that if you go to integration section and search for zeek so we have to add this line in the file local.zeek so what we'll be doing is let's go to the directory where zeek is there let me so I'll find where local.seek is there slash test me local.seek so we have it in the directory is this so I'll edit using nano so sudo nano so let the end, let's go to the end of the file and so over here let's add this line load at the rate policy tuning json logs.c so let's exit so what we'll be doing is let's check if zeek is running prop uh, zeek ctl is running properly so let's check uh, zeek ctl test we have to type in check sorry uh, zeek ctl check so zeek ctl check scripts are okay so let's deploy sudo zeek ctl deploy so zeek has started successfully so what we'll be doing is let's go to the logs directory so if we see we have current so cd current so we can see logs being generated right now what i'll be doing is i'll install file beats in mac os so so let's go to kibana dashboard and go for zeek logs using beats so first let's install file beats uh, now what we must do is we have to edit uh, filebits.yaml so nano filebit.yaml so let's first edit this uh, path so the path will be where zeek logs been stored so if you go here so this is the path so this is the path where zeek logs are being stored so i'll copy this directory this now let's go to the path where setup dot we have to edit in the section setup dot kibana so in the section setup dot kibana let's uncomment the host and supply the ip so the ip address will be 192.168.68.11 which is into ip and in elastic search uh, supply the IP address over here. Dot, uh, dot eleven, and we have as we have enabled expect security, we must turn on username and password. And password we already have saved it. So let's copy the password from the text file where we saved it. So I'll copy and paste it. 
now let's exit yes now what we must do is we have to enable the module zeek module so let's copy this command and run so let's go to see modules b yes we can see zeek module been enabled let's edit nano zeek dot yml so this is for uh, for few operating systems uh, the var dot path will be taken as wrong so what i'll do is i'll share the zeek dot yml code you can copy paste the same code and you can change the directory over there so i have made modifications in the code for uh, zeek dot yml i'll be sharing this uh, what we'll be doing let's copy this whole thing now let's remove zeek dot yml file so zeek dot yml is not there so let's create new one uh, you can do using a touch i'll directly open the editor and save it uh, so zeek.yml uh, paste the code over here once the code is been pasted save and exit so save and exit now what we'll be doing is uh, let's go back to the file bits directly bit directly now let's set up the file bit so dot so the setup process was successful before starting the file bit so what we will be doing is let's check how the logs have been generated tail minus f uh, let's go with connection log on dot log so we can see few uh, dictionary format based logs have been generated so what i'll be doing is let's run file bit minus e dot slash file bit minus e so Uh, we can see now the connection is been established with the elastic search and the harvest has been started uh, harvest is nothing but um, the logs have been ported now to the elastic search so what we'll be doing is let's click on check data uh, we can see the data has been successfully received so let's go to the zeek overview loading so we can see uh, api chart on network transport uh, api chart on traffic data and we can see even the session how how many logs are being generated in a time interval and dns names and urls and even geographic data we can see uh, and if we go to discover section we can see oh, what's the file bit logs we uh, what logs the file bit is collecting uh, from zeek also for example let's take this one we can see what is the agent id what's the agent name what type of agent is it and what's the destination ip and we can see the uh, original zeek log also and ip addresses of the host we can even get the type of operating system uh, the host is running since uh, the file bit is running on mac os it's showing the os type as mac os and we can get to know the source addresses ip addresses and port numbers and from uh, which file the z clocks are also being collected we can know so in the next video i'll be sharing how we can do the same process using elastic agent that's all for today if you like the video do subscribe thank you